Hi everyone. Today we're going to do a review of some of the things we've been showing and show exactly how the day of the Lord begins. Exactly as on the cover of this magazine that we show all the time, the Economist magazine cover. Remember these are as vision boards. They do these repetitively all around us. It shows Obama as the Pharaoh and all of these nations as the Red Sea coming against the USA and Israel. And this is the woman of the Bible and the Christians caught away. Like this rocket ship represents our oil. See Castro oil? And then the turtle represents our shield for us. Jesus is the cherub of the right hand. Satan is the left hand cherub that will actually be destroyed at that time when all of this rises up. Well, we've been mapping this out for a long time, and we have it all mapped out right here in England through this part right here. This is in London, England here, and this is right up near Diana's Fountain. But it's the same thing we've been showing. This is the guy that's coming, the bad guy, the fifth angel, the Doctor Doom guy. He was even in the Fantastic Four movie that they're showing. This is why they're saying the Fantastic Four movie is so bad, because the Fantastic Four movie represents the four horsemen beating this guy, and this is the king of the Illuminati, so they want him to win. See the fifth angel coming with the key to open the abyss. But right here is the dog star Sirius, part of God's throne, the star of Bethlehem. Whoever sits up here is in charge. This is the left hand, the accuser, coming. The right hand is where Jesus Christ sits in the power of God. See the eagle by the two domes when we leave? And this represents the grievous head wound he will receive. This is mapped out right here in London, England. This is the dog star right here. This side the angels can go up and down in. See this here? This figure here, this woman with the breast, is the mother of the earth, the spirit, literally. Now this is the bad guy coming, the left hand. See this dragon? And inside of here with his sword, it represents the Doctor Who character coming. Literally. That's what it's shown over and over again, that Doctor Who is like the beast, and then the woman is riding the beast. This is the woman that's caught away during this event. See the jet right here? This represents our way out to pass over this that's coming. The donkey represents when Jesus Christ rode the cult of an ass up to the temple of God and then he cast out everybody. Remember Jesus Christ rode into Jerusalem on the cult of an ass, everybody going Hosanna, Hosanna. Then when he got in there he took a whip out and he beat out the money changers and stuff and he cleared out the temple. We are going to do that same thing. We are going to go from here up to the top to the temple and we're going to kick out all those crappy angels that haven't been doing their jobs. And we're going to kick them down here. Right there. We will pass over it, actually, as they come down. That's what happens. And then the angels come down here, those bad ones, and we judge the world. See the two domes? Representing the two breasts and the birth. Right here is Diana's fountain, representing the moon. Here is the beast below the pit. You can see how the pyramid represents filling up with the oil. And then this represents the foot of Jesus Christ. And when his heel is bruised, this beast will receive its head wound and it will be released. We go right up and we get on this jet. And we can pass over. This is how the angels are coming down and going in and out of people. Right there. So you can see that. And that is the little horn coming. See as he comes down, he lands on the two domes we go up. This is like the right hand. Jesus will take the right hand up, the left hand will come down. We go up, this side comes down. Same thing. We go up, this side all comes down for its time. And the murals here, it shows this is them coming. See Satan and his angels. See the woman ready to give birth by the two domes, and then this disease will come upon the earth. He's coming down, we go up, over and over and over again, this is shown. 
So let's walk through this real quickly here. Here we'll take all this off. But this is what's coming. That's that event. That's landing right at the 33 degree parallel in San Diego as we've shown. Then the greater earthquake happens. Okay, see the donkey right there? This is not easy to see. Not supposed to be either. Do you see the jet below it? Perfect right there. There's your oil, your way out. There's the woman. See it there? See the pyramid? See, we have to come out from underneath the burdens of Egypt and be set free, just as I keep showing. See the dragon down there? That's Diana's fountain right there. See the shoe for Jesus Christ? That's the foot of Jesus Christ holding down the beast. When the heel is bruised, he will be released through there. You can see the woman right here. This Indian woman. Right here. See her ready to blow all the domes up, as I've been showing? Here's the woman of the earth. She stays here. This part stays. This is actually like the earth. Literally, the whole earth is designed like this. This is not a mistake. I mean, the earth is built to do this. Literally. See her ready to blow the domes? The moment the Doctor Who character gets here. When he falls, and he's going to lose his little time machine ship. That time machine ship is real. I'm not kidding. It's, it represents the door. He has, he's in the way right now of our door. You see perfect by the line. See there? This is the bad guy coming. See there? 363, the three sixes. Who and slow, Doctor Who. And right inside of there, you can actually see him in there. He's sitting right there with his sword and his rabbit. Right there, perfect. So that's exactly what we just got done mapping out. And all the way at the top you can see the dog star. See there? Perfect. As he falls, when he comes down, these two domes will go and the great earthquake will bruise his head. This is the same thing shown in the video games I showed with Kate Upton in the Fire Age try to take everybody over the big red bull that's coming. See, he's coming down. See the woman ready to blow the domes as we are given birth. See, there you go. Perfect. So now realize the whole earth is a matrix. This is going to fall down near San Diego and that's the San Onofre power plant as we've been showing. See there? And we pass over right there. Thank you very much, everybody. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. Get into Jesus' right hand, because nobody is going to make it through the left hand. He is going to destroy and kill every single person he can. If Jesus doesn't stop him, he is going to kill every single person and human being on the earth. That is what the Bible says. The Bible says Jesus is going to bruise his head, and then give him a 42 months but he's actually going to stop that time because otherwise he would destroy the whole world and kill every single human being there is this is the same symbolism that we have of Bill Cosby and the quaaludes he's been giving out to the women the bad doctor remember Bill Cosby played the doctor that's him right there doctor who the people that all of England worship I mean, literally, they love him. And in the Doctor Who series, Doctor Who hates 
most Americans saying that all we do is pray and Doctor Who is totally against the God figure. He's right here. Here he is in the Denver International Airport. It shows right here. The same picture. We go up in the right hand and there is the Doctor Who character with the woman riding the beast. He is the beast. See him sitting there with the with the Lucifer telescope on Graham Mountain. This also represents part of the Catholic Church system and such, the idol worship. But there he is right there. Perfect. This side goes to heaven. This side gets eaten by the vampiric type things. Thank you very much everybody. So let's have patience and trust in the Lord Jesus. He has a plan. Get into his right hand. Get to know Jesus Christ. Thank you very much everybody. This is real and right in front of us. Hallelujah. Listen. That's destiny calling. It's daring you to seize it. Some of you will die on this day. But stand with your alliance, and there's nothing to fear other than what's about to come out of those trees. Even though the Minotaur has never lost, I believe in you. Play for free now from the App Store.